probability and linear interpolation. So we have a grouped frequency table, we have continuous data, and we have to estimate the probability that a randomly chosen teenager spent less than 10 hours shopping. And the wrong way to do this would be to think, well, that's 10, and less than 10 is all of this. So why not just add up all of these numbers and then divide by 104, and that will give us the probability. And this is not the answer, because the 10 is not the upper class boundary for this interval. That's 10, that's 11, the upper boundary is 10.5, and that changes things. So this is the linear interpolation formula. So the lower class boundary is 7.5, and the upper class boundary is 10.5. So the data value here is 10, the lower class boundary is 7.5, frequency of the class is 18, the class width is 10.5 minus 7.5, so the only one left is the frequency into the class. And we can rearrange our equation here to work this out, so we get 15. We're looking for how many spent less than 10 hours. This is less than 10, so all of these 20 are included. These are less than 10 hours, so all of these 16 are included. And some of these are included from this class. We want 15 from this class. So we add them together, the 20 plus the 16 plus these 15, out of 104, and that gives us this probability. So if you're given a grouped frequency table and you have to calculate probability, check first to see if your data is rounded and work out your class boundaries and then from there use the linear interpolation formula to calculate any probabilities. For practice, try these questions.